It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at the expansion for my favorite game last year, Five Tribes. And the expansion is Five Tribes, the Artisans of Nakala. And in this one, you are going to get a brand new uh, tribe. So technically it's six tribes now. And you get some new land tiles, you get some new gins, some new of the genies. Uh, I'm going to be showing you basically just what this adds. I am assuming here that you know how to play the base game already. And then I will tell you what I think of it, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna give you an overview of everything that comes in the expansion and how it affects gameplay, all right? So the first thing is you get all the new meeples, the new uh, artisans, they're called. And they are the purple ones, like that guy who's escaping there. You just mix them in with all the other ones, okay? And put the bag aside. The everything else that's new, you get the new tiles and the new tiles. There's three different kinds. There's this kind here that gives you a new action, lets you for uh, two cards or one of the new characters acquire one of these tokens. I'll get to those in a second. These also come into play with these mountains on the indicated sides. I know it's a little hard to see, but there and there it's supposed to get mountains. And so you put these out there like that and they break up the movement that you cannot go across them. There's three of those. There's the chasm, which is basically one impassable space on the board. And then these new markets, which let you pay four coins to get any one card out of all nine out there. Any one card, basically. So those are the new uh, land, uh, the new tiles for the board. Besides that, you have the new action for the artisans, which is when you pick them up off the board, you take as many of these as the number of artisans you took, look at them, keep one. And they do several different things. They're sometimes just straight up points, like this one. Nine victory points, five victory points. But then, uh, there's a chest. But then there's some that give you some special powers. And they're all right here. They do things like the burning scimitar lets you knock out any two meeples. The flying carpet. When performing the move meeples phase, you can drop the last one on any tile on the board. Uh, except the uh, place where you just dropped the second to last flying carpet lets you go anywhere. The rebirth ring here, choose any one tile in the discard pile and keep it. Any one of these from the discard pile, etc. They, they all let you do something interesting or they're just straight up points. All right. Besides that, there's a couple of new gins here. Two of them are uh, basically just changes to the original ones in order to facilitate the understanding and include basically the purple meeples, okay? This is an original one, it's just been reprinted, and this one as well. But the new ones are here. And this one basically gives you, for every purple you have at the end of the game, each one's worth an extra two victory points. Normally, they are worth three victory points if you have the most. Each one's worth three, or two victory points each if you don't have the most. With this, you get two victory points extra for each one you do. So each one's worth five or four to you. And then this one gives you for each treasure you've kept, gives you uh, an extra three victory points. Again, treasures come from these, okay? So that's basically it. The game plays out the same way, has the same flow basically, but of course you have to account now for the new tribe, mountains, the chasm, being in your way, and um, all of these new tiles, of course, messing with everything that you're used to so far. Most points at the end of the game, on the new handy dandy scoring pad here, is the winner. As I already said at the beginning of the video, Five Tribes was my absolute favorite game last year. And the Artisans of Nakala here certainly adds to the game. It does not detract. I was worried that it would add length to the game and complexity to the length to the game, but um, I have not found that to be the case. The game, obviously, there's more going on in it, and I would, I would not recommend you teach the game to someone new with the expansion included. If this is the kind of expansion which rewards a player that has 
played the game several times that definitely enjoys the game already and wants more of the good stuff, okay? And so I wouldn't throw it in right away. Some expansions are good for that. This is not really that kind of expansion. Uh, the length, I, I don't think this adds any length. I was worried that with a bigger board and more meeples out there that the game would be longer, but I haven't found that to be to be the case. I think because things are farther apart also, and so there are fewer legal moves because the meeples you want to get across the board simply can't get there. And then the mountains and that chasm break up the board in a really nice way. Everything that this expansion adds, I'm a big fan of. I like the new tiles. I like the new genies. I like the new... Um, action with the artisans. I think it's really cool. I love the powers that it allows to be introduced into the game without having to without having to put them on genies. It's like a it's a secondary way of injecting wacky powers into the game without it having to come from genie cards. And I like that. It's very very interesting. Um, the the new um, ways in which you have to think about moving on the board are really interesting. Sometimes it, it makes your mind rewire itself a little bit if you're used to playing the game because you now can suddenly not go across this mountain or you need to consider going around this and this. And it's, it's, a, it's a very simple change to explain, but it, it pays dividends in spades and I think that's my favorite sort of new rule in expansion. It's nice to, it's easy to teach, it's low entry, but it rewards you with a lot of new ideas, new strategies, new things to to ponder really. And so Artisans and Akala is an absolute slam dunk for me. I recommend it highly. If you have five tribes, if you like five tribes, go get this one because it is just, it just makes the game even better adds more goodness to it and if you like the game i think you're gonna need it artisans and akala two thumbs way up from me thanks so much for watching the dice tower videos find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com you can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com i'm eric summerer and you've been watching the dice tower the Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.